FNN. Headline News Update. Hi, folks. Larry Pesavento with your mid-morning update. And we only have one of the stock indices up. That's the NASDAQ. But the most important thing is that the Russell Index has substantially gone below the low of March 3rd. Uh, and so has the Dow Jones. And so those are two of the four. Uh, that's actually a very negative sign, especially after having a big rally. Uh, I've been talking or getting ready to talk to our, our my, my show here 24-7 coming up here in a few minutes. And I posted a chart in the den to show the folks what I'm going to be talking about. And that is the yield curve. Folks, uh, you're going to see a yield curve that has never happened before. That's the two-year and the 30-year. I mean, it's just amazing. What that means, basically, is that banks are really at a place where they don't want to lend money because they can get almost 5% on T-bills. So there's no reason to lend money out. Uh, that's what was explained to me. It has to do with liquidity, and that is very negative. And if you have the chance, go look at KRE. That's the ETF for the regional banks around the world, and you'll see that they are in big trouble. And look at just JP Morgan here. We're down 10% in two days, folks. One of the best banks, one of the best run banks in the world, right after Citibank and Credit Suisse. No, they're really good. I, I meant that as a tongue in cheek, not very good joke. Anyway, but anyway, the, the fact that the banks are getting hit is related to that. And so we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit. But the fact that the regional banks are going lower and the fact that we have the Russell, the second largest of the stock indices, making new lows below March 3rd after it could not even make a 38% retracement these last three days from uh, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. And boom, look where we are making new lows so quickly. That's a sign that the market is incredibly weak. Well, that's pretty much it, what we're seeing today. We got gold is up on the day, silver is up on the day. Uh, but the main thing is, uh, you know, the bonds are actually holding their own, too, which is quite unusual considering interest rates most probably are going to be going higher. So that's it. Stay tuned for Trade What You See, Fibonacci 24-7, and we'll talk more about these markets. And we want to give a big kudos to Mr. Tom O'Brien and his son, Tommy, for putting on our show yesterday. It turned out to be really a lot of fun. Five hours, folks, with one 10-minute break. I was in the zone. I just uh, the, the questions were coming in so fast that we couldn't answer them, but we had a fun day. I actually made a couple of bucks. Uh, that's the understatement of the year. A couple of bucks is about what we made, but it's still profitable. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648.